This is Dr. Paul Lento here at the wonderful Gulf Coast Ultrasound in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, who's describing your hot tip for today, which is looking at the pronator window and the distal biceps tendon, which can be sometimes a clinical challenge for those starting out. So oftentimes the distal biceps tendon is a structure that's clinically relevant, and because of its obliquity, it's somewhat difficult to view anteriorly. Because of that, several different methods have been used to describe the distal biceps tendon. One of those is the pronator window. So I would like to demonstrate that for you today. One of the key things to start out with is the transducer laying parallel on the medial humerus. And oftentimes tell people starting out with this, don't bother looking at the screen when you're first starting out. Just look at the transducer in the arm. What you're going to do is slide the transducer down distally till it reaches the antecubital fossa or just distal to that. Here you're going to slide a little bit anteriorly. And as you look at the screen, you're going to start to see a cross-sectional view of the pronator teres giving this the reason why this is called the pronator window. As you do this, you're also going to see deep to the pronator window the brachial artery. This is this pulsating structure that we can see here, confirmed by the pulsations. Just beyond that, and using this in an acoustic window, you can see this compact fibular structure, which is the biceps tendon, the distal biceps tendon, inserting onto the radial tuberosity. And a nice dynamic maneuver here that you can use is pronation and supination. And you can see this nice, compact fibular structure confirming the integrity and uh, the healthiness of this particular tendon. So this is the pronator window, the approach that I use. Uh, again, just to review, you want to start on the medial humerus, slide down distally, come anteriorly, and still you see the cross-sectional view of the pronator. And then once you see the artery, look just beyond that, and you should see the nice biceps tendon and long axis. That was Paul Lento with your hot tip for today. Now you give it a try.